Good morning. This is another episode of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. I'm your host, Alex. Today is Friday, September 24th, 2021. You know how that goes. Well, it's the end of another week. Successful or not, it's done and you're alive. I wouldn't put too much past it. If they knew where you were, they would have found you. They would have got you. It ain't even that hard. (laughs) You think about it. Rest up. Stay well. Be well. When it comes down to it, it's about being well, knowing you're well. Sometimes it's hard to be right in trying to do well, trying to stay well. Why? Because the idea of uh, well-being, of uh, welfare, whether or not we're doing well in, in our affairs, it's, uh, it's not <clears throat> something that's considered uh, sacrificable to many it's difficult it's difficult and for others they may just be spread thin so to regulate not to regulate to compensate to uh, make up for that It's important, it's important to stay up to date on what it means to do right. And what I mean by stay up to date, I mean, you may opt to uh, get that from a religious scripture. You may opt to get that from a counselor of some type, you know a personal advisor, a consigliere, if you might. Someone who may be able to consult you in times of need, in times of tension, in times of pressure. It's important to have that trust in someone that you're able to be open with and confide in. Now, myself, I do enjoy um, listening to audiobooks, reading, uh, not, not just any literature, but books that might be a little older, even. I mean, there are some current books on current theories on what's the best way to manage your organization, but that's just going to be chock full of, uh, of the same shitty ideas that are making organizations operate like shit nowadays. But if you find yourself a book that's at least 20 or 30 years dated in the past, you'll see that a lot of the operations hold their weight. A lot of the operations are actually worth their weight in salt. A lot of the operations are what caused those organizations to grow into what they are today. And that comes from doing right, not just from taking care of one's well-being, making making sure that uh, 
that my salary is straight first. Obviously, you want to live, right? But you don't want to put yourself into a living condition that you become acclimated to and don't see yourself becoming accustomed and dependent and tied and having your whole livelihood attributed to that to that level to that condition of living it's important to recognize And it's important to understand that doing what's right, it's based in integrity. That's really what's holding it up. So doing what's right will require, may require, because sometimes it doesn't even have to if you do what's right from the get-go. But if you start cutting corners, if you start, quote-unquote, saving on cost, and the reason I say that's in quotes is because some motherfuckers think they get smart and can just throw anything into the field termed costs. And, uh... Well, not everything is a cost. Some items are necessarily an investment. Some items you have to expend some energy or some time of your own in order to invest and build into something better, have it grow into something, into some future benefit. Explain to me how that's a fucking cost. But, you know, there's always a fucking philosopher out there or somebody who is uh, trying to save on present costs <laughs> in order to avoid future costs. Get the fuck out of here. That's just, that's just called fucking yourself twice. <laughs> And yeah, as you can tell, I lost my voice a little earlier in the week, but it is what it is. I suppose that's what a lot of yelling and instructing gets you, but that's how the game breaks down. That's just the game players play, I guess. As for me, I mean, I'm happy. I'm fortunate it's Friday. Don't get me wrong. It could be worse. It could be not Friday. You could be fucking dead. (laughs) It could be not Friday. I don't think there is a poor day of the week. If it's Monday, it's Monday. If it's Tuesday, it's Tuesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. If it's Thursday, it's Thursday. If it's Friday, yo, it's Friday. And you still have Saturday, Saturday, and Sunday, Sunday. But none of them are bad in and of themselves. Again, you've just been conditioned. You've just been acclimated to having these uh, miniature luxuries, miniature fake luxuries called weekends. So it is what it is, I suppose. It's the game players play. Unless you don't know you're playing. Unless you don't know this whole fucking thing is like is a game. Because if you didn't know that, then you don't know that you're paying to play. Oh no! Don't don't get me wrong. You are paying. You are paying, but it's at it's at no cost to you. 
presently. All that's required is a small investment up front of your undivided attention to what's going on. That's all. The fuck out of here with costs. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't pay to be a fucking, uh, what is it? It doesn't pay to be cheap, right? You get what you pay for. Why would you not pay just enough what you can afford, right? And even then, we can keep reserves. We can keep a tithe to ourselves. Why? Because that's going into the personal bank. Why? Because that's going into a personal store. But the goal shouldn't be to... To live out life over cushy and over comfortable. Why? Because that implies that necessarily implies that we're thinking. that that we're thinking that what we put out there won't come back to us somehow so why, why would you put your fucking cheapness out there knowing you're gonna burn in hell for it <laughs> why don't get me wrong I mean I, I already know I'm hell bound right I've uh I've already signed the line Shit, I know what the, I know what the, what the field looks like. I know what the, what the playground looks like. I know what the fucking battle field. I know what the layout is like. So that doesn't mean that because I know what the battleground looks like that I don't want to improve on it. I don't know, expand on it, clean it up some, tidy it up, organize it, build something on it, even if it's not for me. That's what an investment is. That's what's going to preserve you after you're gone. Not you as a person. You're going to be fucking dead. Not not you as a, you know, not, not your body. You're going to be fucking rotten in the grave. Right? You're going to be... You might be wishing that you were still alive, enjoying, enjoying the work you put into what you helped build. Notice how I said enjoying the work. That's what it is. It's still work. Even if it is finished. Even if it is finished. Somebody said that art is never finished. I mean, work in itself is never finished. That's a work of art, is it not? Is every work not an art? It's a craft of some kind. Even if it is being cheap. Some motherfuckers are just never done being cheap. Even if they get caught. Even if they get busted. Some motherfuckers just don't know when to stop. Some motherfuckers think and have convinced themselves into believing that one cannot be cheap enough. But uh, I think it's obvious. It's obvious to the reasonable person that you get what you pay for. You get what you work for. That shit's logical. That shit's conclusive. That's never wrong. 
God's always right. You just gotta, you just gotta be right. You have to do well, even if you aren't well. You have to do right, even when it's not quote unquote right. Have a safe Friday. Enjoy your weekends.